Hey everyone, it's Dale, and I'm going to walk you through the process of editing together a news package uh, using iMovie, which again is a free uh, tool that comes on all Apple products or all Mac products. Uh, you also have it on your phone with some limited capability. There's, it's available for the iPad as well. Um, I am by no, we, no means insinuating that iMovie is the best video editing software, but what I can tell you is it's free, it's readily available in our computer labs, and uh, it's relatively simple to learn and quick and easy to use. So uh, don't feel that you have to use this. If you prefer another video editing software, please uh, feel free to use that. So what I'm doing here is I'm editing my uh, Valentine's Day dog adoption story. Uh, I wrote the script already, uh, as you saw in previous videos, and I've already recorded the track here. So all I did was I printed out my script and uh, used my phone to record my own voice. When your day consists of meeting new puppies, there's really only one way to describe it. So I have my five pieces of track there ready to go. Now, one thing I will tell you is that iMovie is a little weird in terms of inserting sound bites into this right here. If I tried to insert my sound bites where they should go, uh, it's going to take that video and cover up the audio track. So what I've done is I have a separate file here with my sound bites. So this is the first one. Awesome. Um, then this is the second one, third, fourth, and fifth. Um, so I'm going to hold those for right now, and I'm going to work on covering the video, uh, or covering the track as we go. Um, here is all my video that I have, and let's listen to this first track again. When your day consists of meeting new puppies, there's really only one way to describe it. So it's five seconds long, and I'm talking about this little girl. So um, I think... I think I had video of her walking around at some point. Maybe I do not. Um, okay, so let's just use... Um, I don't want to use any of the Rambo video because Rambo is a big part of the story uh, coming up later. So I want to save that. Um, so... Man, this video is horrible. Um... I did a very poor job in, in terms of uh, editing this. So, let's see. Uh, but remember what I told you. It's not about the quality of the video. I'm looking more for the thought process. So we have this shot right here. Um, I will tell you that most video uh, is three to four seconds. So because this is only five, uh, I can either try to work in two little small clips or find one clip that works for five seconds. And if you notice right here, there she is playing with that dog. So how about I start this about right here, and then we've got about 4.9 seconds right there. So now I'm just gonna drag this down right here, and I'm gonna lower this audio level down. So now, when your day consists of meeting new puppies, there's really only one way to describe it. Okay, so now I can go ahead and put in uh, my soundbite of her saying, awesome. So I'm just going to copy that. And when I paste it right there. When your day consists of meeting new puppies, there's really only one way to describe it. Awesome. Um, so now here's the second track that I have. And I'm going to move that right there. So now let's watch this again. When your day consists of meeting new puppies, there's really only one way to describe it. Awesome. Mackenzie Martin was just one of dozens of pet lovers who stopped by the PetSmart in New Braunfels this Valentine's Day to potentially find a new family friend. Four rescue groups from around the Hill Country came together to throw a huge pet adoption day today. Okay, so I don't have anything really that I wrote to there. So, um... This is a spot where I can cover it with just some good, uh, I do, I did mention four rescue adoption agencies, so this might be what I show right there. So let's bring that down. Um, how about this little guy? So a couple seconds of him. Let's, uh, 
I'm just dragging clips right now. Um, this guy is really cute. So I'll take four seconds of him. So you can already see I'm getting close to already having that covered. And I'm going to go ahead and drop these down. And we can always go in and edit these down here in a little bit. Um, I want to show pet owners here, though, because I mentioned in the script that she was one of dozens of pet owners. I don't know if I have a shot to do that. Maybe that's right here. So let me let me watch this again now. Mackenzie Martin was just one of dozens of pet lovers who stopped by. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that down to right there. Now let's see what this looks like. Mackenzie Martin was just one of dozens of pet lovers who stopped by the PetSmart in New Braunfels this Valentine's Day to potentially find a new family friend. Four rescue groups from around the Hill Country. Okay, so I need one more shot here. Um, how about this shot? Them playing with a dog. How about that? Rescue groups from around the Hill Country came together to throw a huge pet adoption day today. Okay, so I'm going to lower that, and then I need to even that up. Throw a huge pet adoption day today. Okay, so now we're at the point where I need my second soundbite, which is from this woman right here. Um, again, I'm just going to go grab it right there, go back to my project, and copy and paste. So now I'm going to move these audio tracks over some. Like I said, iMovie doesn't do a very good job of keeping everything separate. So let's watch again. When your day consists of meeting new puppies, there's really only one way to describe it. Awesome. Mackenzie Martin was just one of dozens of pet lovers who stopped by the PetSmart in New Braunfels this Valentine's Day to potentially find a new family friend. Four rescue groups from around the Hill Country came together to throw a huge pet adoption day today. These events are the best places to kind of understand the temperament of these dogs. When you go into shelters and rescues and things like that, they're always fighting for attention and loud and it's a stressful environment, not only for the people coming to see the animals, but the animals themselves. Okay, so here we go with my next piece of track. We'll move this right here, so let's listen to that. Lee Splitter has some work to do to take Rambo home. His wife said he could get a dog once he fixed the fence. Okay, so obviously I have a little bit of problem here, so I need to extend that out. Lee Splitter has some work to do to take Rambo home. His wife said he could get a dog once he fixed the fence in the backyard. Okay, let's see. That's not perfect, but let me see what this says. But Mackenzie has advice for all pet lovers out there. Okay, so now I need to figure out. I have two sound bites from him. Got to sell my wife on it. Um. They're, they're talking about a home visit if the dog is good with the kids and, and the cat and everything. Okay, so I've got two sound bites from him, and I don't have my script right in front of me. So um, that's where you run into problems. You should be editing with a script in front of you. Uh, let's see. Lee Splitter has some work to do to take Rambo home. His wife said he could get a dog once he fixed the fence in the backyard. Oh, there we go. Work to do to take Rambo home. His wife said he could get a dog once he fixed the fence in the backyard. He's not worried about it, though. He's already looking forward to the next step. Okay, so that makes a lot more sense now, because that's the soundbite of him talking about the home visit. So, let me just clean that up a little bit. Alright, so now I can cover this part, and we're talking about Lee Splitter here. So that is the uh, army vet... And he's specifically playing with Rambo. So I have this great shot right here. But I have to be careful because if you go back to this track right here, this is the one where I wrote to. You might even get a nice kiss for Valentine's Day. Okay, so when I write that, I want the picture of Rambo. I want the video of Rambo kissing him. So I need to uh, use some video from down here to cover this part. So there's one clip. Now let's show Rambo himself. We've got this video right here. That's a long clip, but there's a lot going on in that clip. Um, in fact, I might actually lengthen that one. 
and let's lengthen this one a little bit just to cover that track. Okay, so let's see how that worked. Animals themselves. Lee Splitter has some work to do to take Rambo home. His wife said he could get a dog once he fixed the fence in the backyard. He's not worried about it, though. He's already looking forward to the next step. Okay, so we're, we're pretty good there. Now I need to go grab the sound bite from Lee. And that would be right here, this longer one. Da, da, da. And then we're going to copy and paste that right here. So let's see how that looks. He's already looking forward to the next step. So you can see I kind of have a pause there that I don't like, so I need to clean this audio up a little bit. And I can always increase that right here so I can get a better look at it. So I need that right there, and then I'm going to clean that up right there. Forward to the next step. They're, they're talking about a home visit if the dog is good. Okay, and so I'm going to have problems right here because this audio is going to interfere with his sound bites, so I'm going to move these over. He's already looking forward to the next step. They're, they're talking about a home visit if the dog is good with the kids and, and the cat and everything. Okay, so now I've got this piece of track. Let's see what it says. But Mackenzie has advice for all pet lovers out there. Okay, so I'm going to move that right there, and I need more video of... I'd love to have another shot of her, and I thought I did somewhere, but um, I don't. So let's just use this poor guy right here. Grab that and see. Okay, I'm gonna lower this. But Mackenzie has advice for all pet lovers out there. Okay, that's horrible, but you get the point. <laughs> but Mackenzie has advice for all pet lovers out there. Whoa, that that shot does not work there. Let's find another shot. Uh, how about this poor guy staring at us in the face? So I'm going to move this over. There we go. But Mackenzie has advice for all pet lovers out there. Ugh. I still don't like that, but it's just going to have to do for right now. Um, I'm going to get rid of that shot. Slip there. All right. When your day then, oop, didn't mean to do that. So let's get that last bite from Mackenzie, and we're almost done. <laughs> So, let me go back here. And I'm now missing track six. This is one problem with iMovie is that when you move in and out of projects, a lot of times you lose the audio files. Um, thankfully I have them, so I can grab that. So let's see if this works. But Mackenzie has advice for all pet lovers out there. Okay, so... When you're I'm, date oh, I'm going to scroll past all the other stuff, and this would be track six. You might even get a nice kiss for Valentine's Day. Dale Blasting Game, Bobcat Update. Okay, so I'm going to grab this and drag it down right here. Um, and remember, that last piece that I want to cover is uh, da -da, is that video of Rambo trying to kiss. Um, so I'm just going to cover, take a big chunk of this and move it down. Okay, so now we're done. Let's, uh, let's try to watch this. When your day consists of meeting new puppies, there's really only one way to describe it. Awesome. Mackenzie Martin was just one of dozens of pet lovers who stopped by the PetSmart in New Braunfels this Valentine's Day to potentially find a new family friend. Four rescue groups from around the Hill Country came together to throw a huge pet adoption day today.
these events are the best places to kind of understand the temperament of these dogs. When you go into shelters and rescues and things like that, they're always fighting for attention and loud and it's a stressful environment, not only for the people coming to see the animals, but the animals themselves. Lee Splitter has some work to do to take Rambo home. His wife said he could get a dog once he fixed the fence in the backyard. He's not worried about it, though. He's already looking forward to the next step. They're, they're talking about a home visit if the dog is good with the kids and, and the cat and everything. But Mackenzie has advice for all pet lovers out there. Tip them home. You might even get a nice kiss for Valentine's Day. Dale Blasting Game, Bobcat Update. Okay, so right here, the audio could be cleaned up some. Um, I can go in here, and you can see I've got way too much time right here. I'm ignore all the text messages I'm getting from my parents. You might even get a nice kiss for Valentine's Day. Dale Blasting Game, Bobcat Update. Okay, so I also didn't time that quite perfectly. So let me extend this out. I really want that kiss to come up right when he's kissing them. You might even get a nice kiss for Valentine's Day. Dale Blasting Game, Bobcat Update. That's much better. And then you can let the video play out just in case. Um, so there you have it. Then I would go to Share, File, and uh, you can pick the settings. Uh, either click on High or Medium. Um, high is fine if it's only like 100 megs or so. But I'd go ahead and save that, and then I'd upload it to YouTube. Again, the video quality is horrible. Fully realize that it's shaky video. Um, you know, the sound bites weren't properly framed or anything. I'm really just trying to get you into this mindset of having the uh, words and the video complement each other.